Welcome back to Teshkid FX for another Epcoin price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you the latest developments that have been happening here on the Epcoin chart which at the time of this recording has continued to hold above the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart which is now acting as support for us to continue pushing even higher to get to our next key area of resistance at around the $6 mark. We have also continued to obey the ADOT of structures where I believe that we have fully maximized our target areas to the lowest side in the formation of these way 4 making our low at around the $4.75 mark and whatever we are seeing at the moment is the start of a massive bounce to the upside in the formation of these way 5 and that's the reason as to why we are seeing these 5 wheel structure in formation because of the impulsive nature in the formation of that way 5 and before I get further into the technical analysis and also give you my next price targets to the upside here in the formation of these way 5 first give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and allow me to continue with the video here on the 4 hour chart by first giving you the short term scenarios that I'm expecting to play out where you can see that after making our low at around the $4.75 mark and also completed the formation of this larger edu 12 count 4 whatever we expected next is this massive bounce to the upside in the formation of these way 5 which is an impulsive wave and because of that we also expected to see a 5 wave structure in formation within the formation of that wave 5 and I believe that is what we are is playing out over here having that as the first wave to the upside making its peak at around the $5.8 mark and after seeing the high for that wave 1 we started this corrective structure in a move that has now given us a low for that second wave to the lower side and getting to see whether the second wave down there has done the minimum that we expect a wave 2 to the lower side to do by connecting the Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 that gives me a minimum retracement area in the formation of that wave 2 between the FIB level 0 0.5 and the FIB level 0 0.618 which lies between the $5.3 mark and the $5.18 mark which is a target area that we have fully maximized meaning that we have done the minimum that we expected this second wave to the lower side to do and after seeing the formation of that wave 2 whatever we expect next is this massive bounce to the upside in the formation of this wave 3 and sketching out minimum target areas to the upside in the formation of that with 3 by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave down there to the high of that with 1 then dragging the FIBs to the low of the second wave that gives me a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of that with 3 at the FIB level 1.618 and that is at around the $6.9065 mark and that is the minimum that I'm expecting that massive bounce to the upside in the formation of that with 3 to the upside to do and for that to also play out we need to continue holding above the 20 day MA so that we can have the support that we need for us to continue pushing even higher to get to our next key area of resistance at around the $6 mark and the moment we manage to break above it then I'll be expecting to see a retest and once the retest is in and a success then we can continue pushing even higher breaking through other key areas of resistances to fully maximize our target area in the formation of that with 3 at the FIB level 1.618 and that is at around the 6. $9 mark and once the wave 3 high is in then we can expect that wave 4 and then continue pushing even higher in the formation of this wave 5 to fully maximize our target areas to the upside in the formation of these larger edu 12 count 5 that I'm expecting on the long term scenarios and zooming out so that I can give you what I'm expecting to play out here on the long term scenarios here on the ape coin chart you can see that after making our low at around the $2.5976 mark we started this massive bounce to the upside of being the edu structures having the wave 5 of this fractal wave making its peak at around the $4.6 mark and also completed the formation of that larger edu 12 count 1 to the upside then we saw a corrective structure giving us the low for that higher edu 12 count 2 and after seeing the low for that second wave we saw this massive bounce to the upside in the formation of this larger edu 12 count 3 giving us a peak at around the $6.42 mark then we started another corrective structure giving us a low at around the $4.75 mark in the formation of that larger edu 12 count 4 and that's the reason as to why I believe that whatever is playing out is the start of a massive bounce to the upside in the formation of these larger edu 12 count 5 and sketching out minimum target areas to the upside in the formation of these wave 5 by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the FIBs to the high of that wave 3 that gives me a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of that wave 5 at the FIB level 0 0.618 and that is at around the $7.6601 mark and that is the minimum 
minimum that I'm expecting Apecoin to do in the formation of that with five, and that is my long-term scenario. So continue watching our next key area of resistance at around the six dollar mark, cause a break above that key area of resistance and a successful retest could trigger even higher prices to get us back to the area at around the six point nine dollar mark in the formation of that with three, then expect a with four, and then a with five to give us a peak at around the seven point six dollar mark in the formation of that larger edge to have count five and also taking a look at the indicators to see what movements will be supported on the rsi we are trading at around the 58 mark meaning we have massive room for us to fully support higher prices in the formation of that larger edge to have count three also taking a look at the macd we have been able to print a bearish cross but we are seeing a bit of a decrease in the selling momentum meaning soon we are going to print that bullish cross to fully support higher prices in the formation of that with three so let's be patient and see how that plays out and I'll be keeping you updated.